hello friends and continuing to our previous video now in this video we are going to install exchange server 2016 on a google you can just type exchange server 2016 download and you can navigate to the microsoft website it seems to be not working okay here you will see the uh, exchange server 2016 that is a cumulative update 11 and from here you can download this I have already downloaded the cumulative update CU9 and all the pre-requests has been downloaded so let's try to install it so first of all I will try to install this dotnet thing it's getting extracted now it says dotnet framework 4.7 or later update is already installed in this computer so we will skip this and we will install C++ pack it's installed we will install 2013 C++ pack it is also installed and now I will install runtime setup that is a UCMA runtime setup and it will take bit time to get installed once it is installed I'll pause the video for a while and once it is installed I will resume the video. It is about to install and now it is installed. After installing all this pre-request we will go to the same website where we have found the pre-request for exchange server and we are going to install the mailbox server so we have to copy this PowerShell command so that we can install required features for that so I'll copy this and let's see if it is copied or not I'll just paste it on a notepad yeah it is copied now we will go to the PowerShell and you can just type Windows PowerShell here and you can just right click on that and you see these feature will be installed server media foundation RPC web client authentication web digest authentication these are the feature will, uh, which will get installed you can install it on a graphical way but it's a best way to install through the PowerShell so that everything will get installed in a one go so I'll hit enter and let's see if it work or not now you can see the uh, installation has started once this installation is done the computer will get restarted and after that we can try to install our exchange server so let's wait for this installation now after installing all the feature computer has been restarted and let me log in with the administrator of a domain now we are logged on the exchange server and now we will install exchange server so let me go to the folder with exchange server here we have a exchange server ISO file and I will just right click and I will mount this DVD to my DVD drive so I will click on mount and you can see it is mounted in an E drive now so I will open it and I will locate to the setup file and we will find the setup file see here it's a, it's a setup file and I will just double click this file and we will see the installation will get started 
now you can see it's a Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 cumulative update 9 so it's asking to check for update right now I'm not checking for update and we'll click on next and it's copying a file the necessary file to install Exchange Server I'll pause the video for a while now the files are almost copied it's a 99 percent is done and now it's initializing setup and it will also check the pre-request uh, this time as well now we have a welcome to Microsoft Exchange Server and we will click on next we will accept the agreement and we'll proceed with next Exchange Server will automatically check online solution when encountering error and provide usage feedback I say next and here uh, the rules are there in a previous uh, Exchange Server we have a mailbox role, client access role and edge transport role but here in the exchange server 2016 we have a uh, two roles the edge transport and the mailbox all the client access and and the hub transport is inside this mailbox role so I'm going to uh, install this mailbox role and it's a feature like automatically install server role and feature that are required to install on server I will also check this though we have installed all the requirement but I will also check this box and click on next it's saying that uh, the path for the Microsoft Exchange if you want you can change that but I'll keep it as a default click on next specify the name of this exchange organization I will say the first organization so click on next this is a disable if you click on yes the malware scanning will be disabled uh, I'll keep it as a no I don't want to disable the malware scanning so click on next and now it's uh, configuring the pre-request and if it found any uh, pending pre-request it will give us an error and we have to complete that pre-request and after that we can install it but I hope uh, we have already installed all the pre-requests and it says setup will prepare the organization for exchange server by using setup prepare ad that means if you have a multiple domain environment like you have a tree domain you have a child domain and many other domains you have you have a multiple namespace of your domain that means you have to extend the schema on a global catalog server you have to prepare for ad and the domain as well right now we have a single domain so the setup will do it automatically so i will click on install and it will prepare for AD so click on next and now the installation process has been started and we have to wait for uh, the installation to complete now the step one the organization preparation is about to complete and it will go to the next step and it has to prepare like step 15 and right now it's on a step 3 it's copying the exchange file and the setup has to go through with the 15 steps and right now it's in a stage 3 step now the step 3 has been completed let me close this now it is installing language files on a step 4 and it is about to complete and it is 100% completed now it will go to the step 5 and now the step 5 is restoring of services it's now restoring the services and it is completed now it is uh, installing management tools on step 7 now in a step 8 it's now installing mailbox role uh, the transport service for the mailbox role now it's on a step 9 and it is now installing client access service for a mailbox role 
now the client access service is about to complete and client uh, access service is a service through which you access the mailbox like you are accessing your mailbox with the active saying outlook or with the web browser now we are into a uh, step 10 and it's installing a unified message service for a mailbox role now we are on a step 11 and the mailbox service is now getting installed for the mailbox role. All these services are inside the mailbox role now. Now the front end transport service is getting installed in a step 12. Now in a step 13 the client access front end service is getting installed. Step 13 has been completed and now we are on a step 14 that says the finalizing setup and it will take some time. The overall installation took around about 1 hour 6 minutes and it's now finalizing the step. Let me pause the video for a while. Now you can see the setup has completed all the 15 steps were successfully installed and we have installed our exchange server 2016 successfully on this computer let me finish this and I will restart the computer once and in our next video we will see how to configure and test recipient configuration and how to manage exchange server through admin console so be with me and let's meet in a next video.